go. Shooting now and roll sounds. When I was writing the novel, I saw the whole thing in my head like a movie. I really wanted to see it brought to life. This looks just right. People dream about this book. It's our first day of shooting. We picked the most difficult set ever. Not one shot is easy. Love it. Welcome to Twilight. Well, Belle and Edward's relationship was always defined by the fact that he is a vampire and she's not. And so I knew how breakable she looked to him. He looks like he wants to kill me. But what I think is interesting is that she likes it. And for some reason, it doesn't scare her. She is like a soap bubble to him. He knows that one wrong twitch of his finger and he can kill her so easily. The two of them definitely would die for one another. Action! I'm better all on tights, Barry Monkey. He's showed her the sort of basics of what a vampire can do, and now it's like you can also have fun with the powers. I have always loved superheroes. I've always thought that was so cool, and I know that that's you know kind of a guy thing to get into the comic books and the and the superheroes, and and so hopefully they'll enjoy that aspect of of the movie. Dad. Dr. Carlisle Cullen is the uh, father figure of this vampire coven. I play Esme Cullen. I'm married to Carlisle Cullen, who's a doctor. We are a big family. And they're kind of all living in this small town of Forks, trying to live human lifestyle. She is Edward's sister. She brought with her the premonitions uh, so she can see the future, which is awesome. Jasper's ability is to call, especially when you have a houseful of vampires that are trying not to eat humans. It can raise a lot of those animalistic tendencies, and so what Jasper's ability is, is to calm that. In one word, the protector. I mean, he really is the big brother to all the colons. Rosalie is described as literally the most beautiful person in the world. Those are difficult shoes to fill. We're kind of the, uh, <laughs> the freaks of the vampire world. James fits into the story of Twilight because he is a tracker and he basically hunts humans with his two cohorts. Victoria is one of three nomadic vampires who you meet uh, in your journey and um, keep away. <laughs> so what we're about to film is a scene where uh, the three of us find our next victim, either because we're hungry or because James likes his uh, leather jacket, we're not sure. We taunt a little and then we come in and thieve and devour. I'm off. Okay. Getting ready to eat some human beings. My favorite is the fight scene. It's amazing. It's fun to play a vampire. That's how you kill vampires. I love my job. I'm excited about it. It's pretty awesome. It's not enough for any of us that this is just a fun, good time vampire romp love story. That's not enough. We want it to be real. As the writer, you hope that people go see the film and want to know more and go out and, and see how the book matches up with it and that they feel the same feelings that people feel reading the book. I would love it if, if new audiences would walk out of there caring about Bella and Edward. It's a great vampire tale, love story. Who doesn't want that? Okay, here we go. killing some people today. And cut.